Shabbat Shalom. Don't you just love saying that Shalom, peace? It's what we all yearn for. Yeah. It's why we're in the Defense Force, to bring security and peace back to our land. And I know it's not what the Hamas want. They want death and destruction and, and every Jewish person to die that they can get their hands on. But we want peace. And, you know, I live in the Galilee. You've heard me come to you every day and talk about different things. I want to talk to you a little bit about more about my story. I made my immigration. It's called Aliyah when I was a young boy here to Israel, Jewish Zionist. I'm not just a, a combat engineer corps elite sergeant major in the Yalom unit. No, I, I also am a chairman of the board of directors of, of the Aliyah Return Center. I'm also chairman and, and I'm CEO of the, of the Faithful Galileans, registered charities in Israel and the Galilee. And uh, what do we do at the Aliyah Return Center? Well, we help uh, people to make their immigration where we help them get established, planted in the land. Our vocation, our voice is for the restoration of Israel and our family. We're disciples in the Galilee, pioneering with the pioneers. And it's just wonderful. Uh, you can, of course, go to aliareturncenter.com. Check it out. There's 24-7 uh, prayers going on. Go to altarofprayer.com. And I remember back when I was a young boy, uh, what is it? Over, over two and a half decades ago or so, and it was that dark night, and, I, and I, we, we decided as a Jewish family to make our immigration uh, to the promised land. All eight souls clutching tightly to the prophetic promises that are for us, the promised land. And I never guessed I'd be part of a global movement and helping to bring Jewish people, get them established here through our charity. I never thought it would be rallying nations uh, to understand the importance of this uh, and helping them to, to understand what the word Aliyah means. Now, maybe people from around the world can't make Aliyah, but they can be part of it. They can be part of supporting. And look at the anti-Semitism around the world right now. It's dark. It's getting dark out there. Imagine you're a Jewish person and people are spitting on you, cursing you, just because us guys are here trying to defend the defenseless here and restore security to our land and, and eradicate this threat. I mean, and not, not halfway eradicate, fully remove the, the ability for Hamas and Islamic Jihad to operate. But I see that in these in these years, we've been part of awakening a full destiny of Israel uh, 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 and, and a, a movement around the world where people join in and they say, we want to be part of it, you know? And so I realize that millions of Jewish people who come to the land of promise, it's not easy. You need determination. You need to be a pioneer. You need to be able to, to uh, have grit, you know, like the, those in America who were in the Oregon Trail. Your wagons can't be parked in a circle. You got to be going forward. You got to be determined. And there are Jewish people who just don't find their way and they, they get very depressed and, and uh, you want to help them get a job. You want to help them uh, learn Hebrew. And so that's what we do. And uh, we've been doing this for a long time. My father-in-law really felt years ago that God of Israel was calling him to help Jewish people in need. And that's a call that many people are feeling now. He left all his businesses in Canada and he's spent every every breath he breathes in is, is, a, is, a, is a blessing over Israel. And he would go and help Jewish people from the former Soviet Union. And I realized we need to get them established here. And so that's what we do. Our, our motto is, is discipling nations to practically bless God, his land and people. And, and so we're not an organization, we're an organism. A bunch of Galileans with partners all over the world. I believe it's 59 nations that have come and brought a flag and said, we stand with you. We're gonna help you provide food. We're gonna help you provide clothing, places to stay. We're renovating a building right a now. A big five-story building, making it all beautiful for more uh, places to bless Israel. We did a $5 million project years back. It was quite amazing to help house immigrants and, uh, and help the needy. And uh, they need really a hand up, so we do job training, not just a handout. Uh, and they, of course, they have the Hebrew school and even a furniture warehouse. And so we're really trying to stand in the gap and show God's love in a priceless way, more than just a smile, more than just a hug, practical, tangible action by the shores of the Sea of Galilee. And uh, we operate in Kibbutz Beit Zera, also in Tiberias, also in other places. We used to have a big office in Jerusalem. We're getting, we're making moves again back uh, to restore some of those. Um, after COVID and we invite you to come and volunteer with us. Come check out your volunteer lodging. 
by the Jordan River. Come on, be, be part of passing out clothes from the clothing distribution. Uh, and just join with us in the adventure as we are in the culmination of history. We're in the restoration of Israel still. And if you've done it to the least of these, you've done it unto the God of Israel and you've got to be part of it. So come, wherever you are hearing this from, come join us. Be part of the adventure. Write your story in the annals of faith. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom from the front. Shabbat Shalom from the front. I'm Sergeant Major Chaim Mailspin, Chairman and Director.